Good morning, everyone. It's Maggie Bot here with an early morning vlog for no good reason. Um, but <laughs> uh, this will be a quick one. I kind of mentioned part of this in my last vlog, but I wanted to follow up about Queen's Architect and show off just a couple um, silly little things I picked up. Um, so the first one I'll show you. Did you guys ever play Set the Card Game? Um, well, there's this kind of pattern matching game where you throw stuff on the table and you got to find patterns. And my preferred one is actually a game called Iota, which is a small card game. It mixes set and uh, crookle. Uh, really fun, very weird and cool. But this is a Kickstarter called Block Party. <laughs> this. And so Block Party is one where you get like a bunch of these, I think there's like eight of them, uh, wooden cubes and you throw them at the table and each of your, you and your friends are looking for a party, which is four, um, four blocks with four uh, matching or unmatching symbols in the three different aspects, so shape, color, uh, shading. Um, really fun and silly and I made my game group play this even though it's not really their style. It was really a good time and the the blocks are really nice chunky just wooden blocks so they make a fabulous amount of noise and bother. Uh, so that was just a silly one that I picked up. Um, so I wanted to follow up on Queen's Architects. So yesterday um, I actually went through and reorganized my collection because I do that every once in a while so I'll show you my my shelves look gorgeous if you do not see them. But, uh, so I reorganized my collection and that meant that it was time to pick out a few things to thin from the herd, if you will. So, uh, some gifted copies of things like Settlers and Ticket to Ride, um, and, uh, just games I didn't need anymore. Like, I, I've played my fair share of Craftsman and I, I liked it a lot, but I didn't like it enough to keep it because I think I was kind of done. Um, same thing with like Kill the Overlord, just little card games and gifts people had gotten for me because when you have someone in your life that loves games, buy them gift cards. You don't buy them games unless they really update their wish list a lot. Um, so that was my only problem with that. But I ended up clearing something that normally I would keep around a little bit longer because it's, it's not even out like wide release yet. So Queen's Architect from Queen Games um, is this really cool Kickstarter project. Um, Volker... Yeah, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> it's very long in German. Um, he made this really cool little worker game where each player has a wheel and you hire a craftsman for the outside of it and each time they work they take a round and they have different work values and so the game is really all about trying to balance who's on what part of the diamond at a given time and making sure that when you retire your workers you got everything out of them that you needed. Um, that part of the game, that mechanic of hiring the workers and balancing where they are on the wheel is really fun. Uh, that was worth the price of admission so to speak. I, I enjoyed in my four players or so, just uh, getting to goof around with that and optimize that and you get uh, a very frustrating and cool uh, just market of craftsmen that you can hire and the colors that come out and they're frustrating, you can never find the purple one you, when you need a purple one. Um, but here's here's the kicker, here's why I didn't care for the game. Um, Along the, the other side of the board, this is a track here. Um, this is your prestige track. So when you are walking around the board and building, you're climbing up this track and it's a race. So the first people to get to the top and then get to the center of the board and build trigger the end of the game. And they generally will win and they're probably the only one that did it. Um, so you can make sure you have carefully gotten all the colors you needed, you travel around the board which takes more actions, and then you build and maybe you pop up two spaces on that track. Or, instead of that, you can take this alternate action where you pick out three of your craftsmen and each of them have a little red value on them. You tick those three down, you take that red value, and it'll generally get you popped up at least one space on that track. So, it's either that you go through a whole heck of a lot of bother or you hire guys with the highest amount of the red stuff as possible and then tick them down and maybe build twice in the game. Um, so as you can see I was, I was a little frustrated that you just weren't required to do what the game 
was designed to do. Um, I know a lot of people said that about viticulture where you didn't have to make wine to win the game, but this to me, they have such a brilliant mechanism that to have a rule that doesn't make you use that mechanism is frustrating. Um, I keep a very slim collection. Uh, it's less than 200 titles, easily less. Um, so when I want to go play a game with friends, I want to be able to pull almost anything off a shelf and just be like, yeah, let's play that. Um, so if it doesn't pass that test, if I would rather put it back on the shelf most of the time, it's got to go. So even though it's not even out in stores yet, it got sold to a friend on Twitter. Um, I hope he likes it. I hope he loves it. Uh, if not, you know, it's going to be really easy to resell, especially because they haven't even picked up the pre-orders yet for stores. So it's nice. We're going to have it traveling around, I guess. Um, and the last one, I just, I found this when I was cleaning, and I still haven't ever played it. Uh, it's the logic thinking game, ergo. Um, you have to put out lines of logic in such a way that you disprove that your opponent exists. Um, I always said that I wanted to learn a little bit of logic theory before I played this game, and so it's just been sitting on my shelf for several years. <laughs> one day, one day, ergo, and me and we'll be friends. But uh, that's all for me for now. I just wanted to check in a little bit and say hi. And um, so we're getting back into the vlogging thing. I swear I'll be here a little more often. Tonight is my first game of Croftwagon, and I will be chatting about that soon. And I can't imagine. I, I might even play that twice tonight. We'll see. But that's all for me for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.